Meredith Clubhouse report presented by your local Ford stores. And the very latest, Meredith, includes another roster hit for the Yankees and the bullpen. Tell us about that. Bob, it's pretty wild. The Yankees continue to win, but yet again, they are hit with an injury. Araldis Chapman was placed on the injured list with left elbow inflammation. He's been feeling it for about a week, week and a half, and they finally decided it was at the point where they needed to get it checked out. The imaging came back pretty favorable. They believe they'll be shut down for about five to seven days, and then they will reevaluate. When I spoke to pitching coach Matt Blake, he told me it was really on the extension that Chapman was feeling it and it looked the last couple of times out where he just did not look right on the mound. So the Yankees are hoping that it's more of a pause and he'll be back relatively shortly instead of a long-term thing for Chapman. Though he's on the IL, they are pretty encouraged by what they saw from the imaging. So you saw Nick Nelson is back in an option out of that pen. And Flash, you mentioned the fact that they're going to be a little limited this afternoon. They likely will be without Chad Green, Zach Britton, maybe even Lucas Litke and Jonathan Lewisaga, who is expected to take over over closing responsibilities with Chapman now on the injured list. But when you look back to last night, nine relievers used, starting with Wandy Peralta, ending with Albert Abreu, and what a job that bullpen did. 11 innings, just two runs. I spoke with Lucas Litke earlier today to talk about the wild night. We didn't really know what to expect. We were kind of ready for the first pitch. Uh, we didn't know whose name was getting called when. So it's just one of those days you got to deal with it and go for it. When you see one guy after the next go out there and have success, how much do you guys feed off of each other? I mean, nobody wants to be the guy that lets us down. So uh, I think we do that every game. You know, everybody wants to go out there and do their job. So that's just kind of the game plan. What does it say about the depth that you guys have in that bullpen, the way you're able to use nine separate guys, allow just two runs, and get the win on top of it? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty awesome, especially the new guys that kind of came up and have done their job amazingly. Uh, so it gives confidence to us, the coaching staff, to kind of be able to put whoever in at any time. You mentioned some of the new guys. Stephen Ridings, a, a guy that kind of stands out a little bit. What did you think of his stuff? It, it seems like the dugout enjoys watching him when he's on the mound. It's pretty electric, isn't it? Uh, for a guy that I guess he was substitute teaching last year, to come up and do that, I mean, we're excited for him. We're happy for him. So uh, we're glad he's on the team. After the game, what's the chatter like among you guys as you're celebrating the win, thinking about everything that transpired throughout the course of that game? Last night was pretty exciting. Uh, you know, their starter kind of dominated us the whole game. For us to kind of stay with it and come back at the end there, uh, especially being a bullpen day, everybody was pretty fired up.